so i'm in the after effect and uh, i want to import the file go to file then import then file so this is my snow final work uh, now you will get a dialog box i want to merge layer style into footage and click their composition now click on okay now you have the folder for your all layers and a composition double click on this then you will get all these layers here now i want four view of my camera now toggle between and i want to convert all these layers into 3d okay that's fine so there is a uh, term called parallax effect so that's why i'm uh, changing the position of these layers uh, from the cam okay now this is uh, okay okay select these two layers and uh, in the top view then you have the z axis and i want uh, i want to change the position you can see there if i'm changing the position now the scale value of this uh, of this layer is decreasing so select on these layers these two and uh, go to transform in scale value increase its value now you will get something like this this is fine and uh, So this give me depth and uh, feel of parallax effect. Okay, this is fine. And uh, I will check all these layers. Okay, this is my foreground. These two layers, and these are foreground, and uh, these should be nearby the cam. Again. select these two layers go to transform and uh, i want to decrease the value of the scale so that i can manage all these layers very easily okay this is fine and uh, more this is the fourth and this is also should be far away little bit far away from okay this is fine now i have some footage you can see that this is the flag this is the thunder thunderstorm and this is snow and i will merge all these layers those effects into a final footage okay now snow one now you can see and uh, adjust its size now i want two cams one is horizontal okay now set its pending mode to screen now you can see that very nice effect is coming and i have snow one and uh, again scale it to fit on the view now again select its pending mode to screen and uh, this is my flag footage this is the flag okay now go to effect then uh, i want make it to black and white so color correction in color correction we have this hue and saturation okay make it black and white again go to effect then uh, i want more contrast so that i can blend all these things very easily so color correction then uh, curves
okay now you can set its blending mode to something like this now you can see that very easily i bend it even you can reduce the opacity so that i can maintain the black values opacity little bit and uh, i want this position Now see that very nice, very nice effect is coming. Now I have this uh, thunderstorm. Go to project. Mm. Okay, again drag it to here. Again select this any mode to screen. I want this position. Now see that. one view okay now all effects are set now i want to animation using cam so go to layer and select this last layer means first layer from the top and go to layer then we have this uh, new then camera i want and uh, exact same settings i want click on okay and uh, if you want to set the duration of the composition click here then uh, go to composition setting i want 10 second and these are the settings exactly i want all these settings frame 29 and uh, the duration of this footage is 10 second i want okay now go to transform in transform i want to change the position of this cam so up to 10 second now make a keyframe click on this and move this cam i want this position exactly and uh, reduce its value now see that very nice okay i have to uh, fix this flag okay now you can see that uh, this is my flag layer and uh, this is no 3d i want to convert it to 3d if i want to maintain the camera animation and parallax effect and now click 3d and adjust its position now you can now move it Okay, now you can see that if I click on one view now if it on screen okay now you can see the effect so if I want to reduce the opacity of this like this layer this flag transform transform best is already down now i want 50 percent opacity okay this is fine so if you want to render it go to composition in composition i want to add to render queue and these are the settings i want uh, i think i should choose quick time in quick time go to format projects and uh, video codec i want h264 quality and it gives you the very best quality in the low size of this footage now these settings i want now i want to render it so thank you friends keep watching harms creation in this way you can create your matte painting as well as 3d animation using photoshop and after effects thank you friends keep watching harms creation